What's going on everybody? Cool200 here back with another NASCAR diecast review video. Today we are looking at Mark Martin's number 8 Army car from 2008. And uh, this is a good one for uh, Dale Earnhardt Incorporated. Uh, you got number 8 Mark Martin, uh, US Army Strong. You got, of course, the Dale Earnhardt Incorporated logo. Um, action Racing Collectibles. Right there, the back of the box. So, pretty nice. You got the die cast there. Um, we'll take it out of the, uh, if I can without ripping the bat, the box, the backs. Almost called it that. Come on, please get out without ripping my box. Gosh dang it, Mark Martin. I swear I've opened this box before. Thank you. And it did rip the box. I'm very salty about that now. But that's okay. Alrighty. Here is the beautiful Mark Martin number 8 die cast right there. Very nice. Very nice. Go ahead and get the stupid box here in the backdrop. So you guys may remember this die cast. But we'll go over that here in a little bit. Um, and I'll show you why and everything. But anyways, uh, here is the front of the car. You got this yellow and gray line. Uh, and pretty much the creases or like the little cave area I'm going to call it. I don't know what you would want to call it here. But it's pretty much inside of the bumper. Like you got the big splitter jet now. You got the nose jutting out. And then you got this part here. But... That's there. You got Army on the black hood. Pretty cool. The car is all black with the with the uh, slanted rounded E that uh, goes straight across here. Uh, the Dale Earnhardt uh, E, if you want to call it that. That ran for pretty much the rest of the way when they were just DEI and not Chip. Uh, or no, it was Earnhardt Ganassi Racing. Because DEI and Ganassi had merged as one team. Which is why Jamie McMurray ran the one slanted like Steve Parks won. Until 20... What was that? 2014 or 2015? I think 2014. But that's a long story for another video. You got US Army here. You got the 8 uh, slanted um, with the yellow background. Yeah, uh, the white eight again with the yellow outline on the black roof. You got the DEI logo right here on the wing. You got uh, GoArmy.com, Army Strong there on the uh, black back bumper. Nothing on the deck lid. And of course, the other side. Uh, very uh, sponsorless car, I will say, for Mark Martin. I'm not sure why this guy... Doesn't have more sponsors. Maybe he did. I don't know. I mean, yeah. He's, uh, excuse me. I am tired. Oh, man. Just woke up. <laughs> but he does have some smaller sponsors. I'm not sure if they were ever primaries. Uh, he does have Snap-on on there. Right, right here. That red thing. That's Snap-on. But the reason why I said you guys may remember this die cast is because I reviewed this diecast before. Not this specific, well, this specific, but I ended up breaking it. Yes, that's right. I broke this diecast because it was a platinum series. Well, I am happy to announce, here's the box I literally just brought it out of, that I got a brand new platinum series diecast. I'm not going to review it or anything because I already did, but. No wing is broken, and I do not plan to break it off. Um, the hood, of course, opens up very nicely. It's the same car. It's just, um, you know, it's the Platinum Series. So, yeah. Please stay up. This box is, like, broken or something. But anyways, guys, that's my diecast review. Hopefully that's the thumbnail. I know it's kind of jumbled up. But, yep, very happy to announce that I did replace this Mark Martin. I uh, got more than I expected. Well, kind of. 
but this is a very rare piece and now I have not only the standard edition but now I have a perfect platinum edition so there's that guys but anyways I'm out of here this is already way too long for a diecast review video please like this video leave a comment subscribe for more follow me on all the socials links in the description below and I will see you guys in the next diecast review video peace out